Good morning. Have you ever needed to seek someone's approval? I know that I have. To become a pastor, I had to study scripture and write a doctrinal defense paper and then have a bunch of other pastors grill me about what I wrote. And I had to defend my positions verbally. And then this panel of pastors had to approve me before I officially became a pastor. And when I was finishing my doctoral studies, I had to research and write my dissertation and then defend what was written to a panel of professors. I needed their approval in order to earn the doctoral degree and title. Today's verse urges us to seek God's approval. You can check it out in 2 Timothy 2.15, and it says this, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. This verse was first written to Timothy, who was pastoring a church. So if you're not a pastor, you might be tempted to say, well, that doesn't really apply to me. But I think that it has application for every believer. We all have the opportunity and the responsibility to share what we know about Jesus. We should share our knowledge with our kids, grandkids, friends, neighbors, and coworkers. We all know people who need to know what we know about Jesus. And we know about Jesus through the Bible. And that's the word of truth that was mentioned in this verse. So it applies to us all in some way. So what is the challenge that Paul gives here? First, do your best to present yourself to God. So there's some effort that's needed on our part. Now this effort is not an effort on your part to be a Christian. Uh, we are saved by God's grace, which is given through Jesus. That's what we trust, not our own efforts, but some effort is needed here so you can know and use the word of God well. To know God's word, you'll have to read, study, pray, and maybe even join a Bible study or a life group. Next, it says that we are to present ourselves as one approved. So this means we won't need to be ashamed of what we did with God's word. Have you ever said something that made you ashamed? I know I have. Words have come out of my mouth, and then when I realize what I did, I just wish I could shovel them all back in my mouth and that the memory of them would be erased from those who heard them. But that's not the way words work. Once they are out, they are out. So what we say about God and his word is very important. We need to be very careful of how we represent God's word. Our discussion of his word should be accurate, and if it is, we will get God's approval. And finally, Paul says to rightly handle the word of truth. Here we are specifically challenged to know the Bible and use it well. That might seem like a daunting task. The Bible is a big book and it does contain some tough things to understand. But there are ways to overcome that challenge. The Bible is meant to be understandable and it doesn't take a Bible degree to be able to grasp it and to use it well. Just as this verse began, it will take some effort to use the Bible well. So let me encourage you to take some steps, put in some effort so that you can improve your ability to understand and use God's word. On the YouVersion Bible app, there are several great reading plans that focus on how to read the Bible. On Right Now Media, there is an eight session series on how to study the Bible with Michael DeFazio. I'll include links to these studies in the thread of this post. These studies will help equip you to fulfill the challenge that Paul gave. I hope that you'll take this direction originally given to Pastor Timothy and make every effort to be an approved workman who uses God's word well. If this word for the day has encouraged you, would you like it, share it, and then go to the links below and start learning how to study the Bible. Have a great day.